All aboard! Good morning, good morning, good morning to all of my lovely EMC family and welcome to the top of Chai Tree Hill. Well, I didn't know where we were going to go this morning, but when I came out and I got on to Highway 1, I saw that it was looking fairly clear. So I said, well, let us definitely go over here and capture a little bit of sunlight, hopefully, and a beautiful day. It's a little bit hazy, but don't mind. It's a beautiful day in Barbados, I can promise you that. You know, as you all know where we are right now, this is the St. Nicholas Abbey Railway. Um, this is the end of it at the top of Cherry Tree Hill where it turns around. And we're going to start our walk from here this morning. I hope all of you all are in wonderful condition. Are you all ready for a beautiful day, tropical daybreak in Barbados? Just beautiful. The island is so green. All of the fields coming over Highway 1 are full of pools and ponds. Just looking lovely. Just looking stunning. So I guess the rain that we were missing, we've caught, got back a lot of it, may not be right up to our average, however, pretty close to that. I see a sign here for the Heritage Railway. Let's take you and have a look at that first so that you can capture a little information. Um, I don't know what the actual opening hours are now, how we're being affected. Not sure if they rack up to this running capacity here, but this is the information here that you can uh, check on. And remember, schedule the partners, the departures, if you are not there 20 minutes before, you will probably get left. Okay, let's go to glare it a little bit so you can get a look at the information. And this is the information for you. I know a lot of you have actually been on this before, but in case you have not, this is your opportunity to do something different in Barbados. Just beautiful. Now, for first-timers, uh, this is the view that you will get when you come to the top of this hill. If you've never been to the side of Barbados, uh, this is actually going to take your breath away. When you drive up here, it's like driving off a cliff, or it looks that way. So here we go. Beautifully dirty war wagon, ready to roll. And we're going to just go over here onto the more scenic spot. Now, you'll find a lot of vendors up here um, in peak season, or when there's a lot of uh, visitors to the island, you'll get vendors on both sides here where you see the laybys. Um, so when you come up here, you won't find it like this unless you come at 6 o'clock in the morning, for sure. This is the beautiful scenic Chai Tree Hill. I would have to say this is probably, as been accessible by vehicle, the most spectacular scenery in the island. Today is very hazy. Normally you can see right up to Ragged Point along the coastline, but lots of little bits of clouds and a little bit of dust and stuff also. I would think maybe Sahara dust or something. Just very, very windy conditions up here. All right, we're going to say our serenity prayer from right here. We're going to pray for some peace. Uh, so I hope you all are ready. God, grant us the serenity to accept the things we cannot change the courage to change the things that we can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Your will, not ours, be done. Amen. Good morning to everyone again. A beautiful, beautiful Barbados. All right, we can do something just a slight bit different. We've done Chai Tree Hill a couple of times before. But what we can do this time is we're going to walk down to the most scenic point out here, as far as I'm concerned, so we can see all the landscape and stuff. Good morning, gentlemen. How are you all this morning? Good morning. Good morning. All right. As you can see, it's beautiful, beautiful landscape. They call this the Scotland District. If any of you that know we're in St. Peter actually at the top of Chai Tree Hill, but we are overlooking St. Andrew. Um, the borderline is approximately halfway down this hill. This is Morgan Lewis Hill itself. And that is also where you'll find the magnetic point. They call it the magnetic point. So where you park your vehicle, you put it in neutral, take your foot off the brake, and it will coast as though it's going towards the ocean. Now, although it looks as though it's an uphill that you're going on, and everybody thinks it's a magnetic uh, pull, you're actually, um, the, it's an optical illusion because the angle you're at is, is at an angle facing downward, although it appears upwards, just an optical illusion. But if you ever have the chance to experience that, it will just blow your mind. Look at what we have coming your way. I did mention about darker makers this morning, so I hope you're prepared. I think we're gonna get a blast from that in a couple of seconds. Just beautiful, beautiful sunrise coming up. All right, we're gonna walk, as I said, to what I refer to as the most scenic point. So while we're going there, We've taken some scenery as well, just show you where we're coming from. That's where most of you would park when you come here. However, uh, this is not the only spot to park. That's a nice spot to start for jewelry and a nice lookout point itself. But if you really want to see the beauty of down here, you're gonna need to travel to where we're walking to this morning. I did mention about putting on two by twos this morning. Um, so that was because I wasn't sure if we we're gonna go here or if we we're gonna go to a beach on the west coast. But as I said, when you hit the highway, there's no way that I would not come here the views this morning just too beautiful and with the uncertainty of weather at this time of the year not sure when we'll get a really clear day at the moment it's something that's gonna pop out just like that but um when i do get the opportunity 
I will come up here and do a couple more photos for you and stuff. Um, really spectacular. If you want, we do have a couple of very clear days on video already. You can always have a look on the YouTube site as well. Just put in Cherry Tree Hill and you will see it from there. I'm going to elevate you up so your sound is going to sound a little bit different. Just want to look over the bush itself. Hi, morning to you. Just want to see what the scenery looks like from here. And here we go. We're going to start coming into full focus of the East Coast in a second. You can see it's beginning to clear up as, uh, as we progress down the hill. Just sort of like the angle maybe of the sun with the mist and stuff and the sea spray. Very windy conditions. You will get very choppy conditions down here, which will create a lot of sea spray. But look at the heavenly rays. Look at those rays just coming out of the ocean. Isn't that spectacular? Just beautiful. Stunning, stunning place. All right, before, um, as you all would know, before, well, you may not know, before the ridge was built up here um, for the for the railway, you actually used to have a cart road that used to run up onto that hill there in the distance. And that was where we used to view a lot of scenery from when you had a 4x4, of course. But not for those who are in normal cars and stuff. You would need a Jeep to get up over that area. Still can do it, but it's quite overgrown because a lot of people don't venture up there anymore. Just beautiful, beautiful scenery. I take you just a little further down from this car here. Uh, and that is the actual viewpoint. Viewpoints from right where we are kind of thing. Um, this area here, as you can see, <laughs> some people park and do not realize they do not litter. Anyhow, that's beyond our control. We said the serenity prayer at the top, so we only do what we can do. And we can only control ourselves and make sure that we do the best that we can do in this life. Just beautiful, beautiful morning. It is such a pleasure to come over here and view this kind of scenery after the last couple of days. You know, we've been sort of like in rain since Saturday, Saturday, and then yesterday. Unusual days, but beautiful days. But this is a fairly good lookout point here as well. I will go back up towards the car a little bit because you can't really see down the valley too much. But um, he is bringing a little bit of music, but hopefully that will not disturb you all too much. It's fairly low. But it, today is a very hazy day, as I said. Um, as you all would know, we've done lots of hiking in the hills and stuff over there in the distance. I'm not sure if you can make it up, but there is the um, antennas up there for, by Mount Misery. That is just by the back of Mount Hillaby where we did a hike from the other day. And then you can see in the distance the cell tower just on the very top of the hill about the center of the camera. That is the cell tower up at Bizix Hill. That's on the back of Chalky Mount area. So that gives you a reference of where you are. Once again, we see our sleeping giant from a different direction. Um, that is Chalky Mount, and then you're seeing the bays beginning to wake up now. Um, we have the Bashba area, Tent Bay, going right up into Concept Bay, which will be the furthest point that we can see. Uh, that will be Martins Bay and also Concept Bay up in that section there. Beautiful. Now the lands down here, just by this hill where you're seeing the beautiful palm trees and stuff on the beach, that's called Morgan Lewis area, Morgan Lewis into Foster's Fun Land. Um, it's also known as uh, Long Pond in that section, just to the uh, to the east of it and they're all beautiful natural areas now, up a couple of years ago you used to be able to drive right down to the beach area using a cart road that used to go off just prior to get in to the st andrews parish church but they have put a block on that at the end i don't know if people are driving on the beach or if they've just blocked it to keep it as a private property but you can't access the beach from here you would have to go up into the lakes area and walk your way down which is quite spectacular all right let's do a little 360 here for you the camera may be appearing as it's slanted it's not the camera it's the hill we're on very very steep hill sorry about talking in your 360 but we're coming our ways around yeah it's a beautiful view from on top of cherry trail especially i see someone made a comment here about the vendors yeah they do have a lot of great craft and stuff but unfortunately where they line up is one of the more scenic spots so it sort of takes away from it so if you really want to enjoy cherry tree hill i would recommend you come up early on the morning and take a drive through there like this kind of time is perfect but look for day when it's not overcast and then you'll be able to have a good look at the views from on top Chai Trail. But if you do come in a peak um, visitor vis season, uh, you will find a lot, a lot of uh, consumerism on top of the hill there. Just a lot of guys have set up their, their brilliant handicraft and stuff, but 
just saying if you want to get it without anyone around recommend come down here at six o'clock as you can see we do have some pending rain showers coming again um, it was not gonna be fair for the whole day but oh look at the cattle and stuff just making their way down through the hills down there you see where that vehicle is traveling on that hill going down that is Morgan Lewis Hill itself can't really see the mill from here it's uh, blocked somewhat from the trees and stuff a little difficult to see it but that pasture that goes out there is a place you can actually drive you can drive down that cart road right down to Morgan Lewis remember if you've not seen the video before about Morgan Lewis I would rate anything on this side of the East Coast anytime you pass the houses by Barclays Park area and stuff I would rate that after Barclays Park to say about lakes I would rate that a plus four I wouldn't I would not go down in there just you and your partner and hang out for the day and you know it is a cart track and stuff so make sure your vehicle is capable of handling those conditions and if you do that I would recommend you take a couple of friends it's a lovely beach just to stroll on but if you really want to stroll park up in lakes area and walk down the beach that would be a much more comfortable and safe vehicle location for you as well just beautiful sceneries all right I'm gonna go again I'm gonna walk back up here and see if I can do another little view for you over the other side of this area where we're sort of like blocked from this little incline just beautiful Barbados so look at the lushness and everything that we talk about all the time just stunning conditions everything is just rich and beautiful I'm tell you, no, to me well, I don't know I'm not, I'm not a scientist or anything but that volcanic ash as far as I'm concerned has been I, will, I would say it's turned into a blessing it wasn't a blessing when it happened but it's turned into a blessing because everything is so beautifully fertilized right now and lovely I mean, I, I can't remember seeing greens and lushness like this, certainly, certainly not, that's for sure. Now, years ago, to give you an indication of how things have changed, I used to drive through all of these roads here, all through the back here out to Fardy Hill, and that went through some really rough terrain, but it's a lot rougher now because of the conditions, but in those days, I had a lot of good car tracks. So all these hills and stuff in between here, I've actually done some exploring on, had some vehicle stick-ups as well too, etc., etc. But those things go with exploring. All right, we're gonna do a 360 from here. Here we go. Just spectacular. All right, your comments are no longer rolling for me to follow them, so I'm unable to see anything you're saying right now. You seem to have done a, a lock up again, and then it will go. That happens sometimes, it just builds up and then it gives a big blast off. But beautiful, beautiful areas running, like we're walking sort of like parallel to the Farley Hill itself. If you're familiar with Farley Hill, that's over on the other side of these, this uh, forest kind of areas. And also you'll find over there, the Barbados Wildlife Reserve and Grenade Hall. We have done uh, Grenade Hall, but we haven't done any wildlife reserve because, you know, as we do at 6 o'clock in the morning in the wildlife reserve, I don't know if they would give me access to where all the animals and stuff are at 6 o'clock. I haven't actually asked them, so I'm not sure, but it is something that we can look at in the future. But we did do Grenade Hall, the mahogany forest. It was stunning. All right, we're going back up to the top of the hill again. Just take a little walk up with you. Give you a view again without anybody else up there, hopefully. And that's where we'll do our blessings, etc. from. It's a beautiful, beautiful morning. Any of you that have not been up this hill, it is quite steep. Uh, it's, you know, and very windy. If you're coming up here, I would recommend, if you're doing this island tour of Barbados driving, I would definitely recommend going in a clockwise direction because that's where you get the best scenery from as far as I'm concerned. Been touring a long time and I always find that the clockwise direction is a superior direction to go in. <clears throat> it's a lovely morning. I'll let you listen to a little bit of nature on my footsteps. All of the animals, birds, everything. 
or this cheerful, cheerful. I remember when we were just after the ash, you really couldn't hear very much here at all. Definitely not with some frogs, for sure. You know, they like the moisture and stuff, so they were a lot, really badly affected. <coughs> Sun rays, beautiful morning. I really didn't want to stop at the bottom with the car in our final focus, so we're gonna come back at Verby War Wagon, get a nice view. <clears throat> now all this area where you see the war wagon part, and on the other side, they're gonna be vendors. So you will understand that, as I said, if you want to see up here beautiful like this, actually, if you want to see Barbados beautiful. I would recommend six o'clock, period. On a morning, it's just everywhere, it's just different. Peaceful, nobody around, quiet, serene, just lovely. Hmm, that feels like a hike. <laughs> All right, we're back to point A again. Beautiful, beautiful east coast of Barbados. This is one of the most beautiful sceneries you'll find anywhere on this island. There are some that match it, like around the, the back of the Bizix area, along Grand's Lookout, uh, Cambridge and up in there. Beautiful scenes as well. But this is, without a doubt, one of the most beautiful scenes when there are clear conditions, because you will see the entire east coast of the islands, just magnificent from here. So everyone, something different this morning again? Well, a little bit different. A little bit more on track to what we've been doing, but this is a beautiful, beautiful location. I hope you're feeling the peace and just everything serene up here. Hope you're enjoying the beauty. Don't mind the haze. The haze adds to it this morning. It's early morning haze. Beautiful conditions. And you can see the sun is peeping around the corner there now. That should be up fairly bright fairly soon. All right, I think we can do a 360 from up here as well. And here we go. Just let you see what all this cherry tree area looks like without anyone on it, except for the war wagon, of course. Folks, that is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Barbados. It doesn't get much prettier than this, to be honest with you. I'm gonna see if we can get a little bit more of the sunlight as we're beginning to come up. Maybe just go around the back of this coconut tree and have a peep and see. And that's what we're looking at right now. So your darker makers on, hopefully. Beautiful day ahead of us. Anyway, everyone, I hope you all have enjoyed this morning. It's, as I said, you know, it's a little different with the weather and stuff. We are limited to where I want to take you. Um, I want to do some more exploring on the cliffs and things. But majority places that we want to explore are going to be very hard to um, access right now with all of the water and stuff that's on, that's on the cliffs and thing. As you know, the cliffs are lots of coral with a little mud on top, but that's enough mud to stick you for sure. So, you know, we're going to keep our, our moves on this areas for now until it starts to drought a little bit. We should be back on the road fully tomorrow. Hopefully, depends on what weather we encounter today. But with the very strong breezes that I'm feeling, it should dry out fairly quickly, quick enough for us to get back out somewhere exciting tomorrow. But to tell you the truth, I am also craving some salt water on my skin. So not too sure what we're doing still. We're going to leave a little toss up there and tomorrow morning we'll make that decision when it comes. You know, you all have a fantastic day. Remember that today is a brand new day for you to make a difference in this world, to make a difference in your own life. And that is just to follow the correct path. You follow your light. If your light's positive, you go in the right direction. So you all just have a fantastic time. Be nice and kind to everyone around you. Love your family, love your friends. You know, just be joyful. Bring joy, bring happiness, and bring peace. Usually when you can bring that, you will feel it. Usually when you give away, you receive. Even if someone doesn't give you back, you receive the knowledge that you're doing it freely and you're doing it without expectations of anything to come back. That is a tremendous freedom, a freedom that I thoroughly enjoy and one that I intend to continue with. Have a great day, everyone. This is the beauty of Barbados through my eyes. I'm the Beijing warrior. I'm sending you all of my love and all of my care. 
and we are the EMC and the EMC is the early morning crew and that's a group of people that get together to enjoy life to welcome in every day to be peaceful be kind be positive and be caring and that's what we do and that's just because we are the EMC family have a great day everyone love you all and take care be safe I'm gonna leave you for a couple of seconds just to enjoy yourself with this beautiful scenery God bless you all.